Division 1B match. It's Tugi and Sidnev. Best of luck to both players. And we're going to count you down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tetris! <clears throat> and already a uh, different approach from both players. Sidnev opting to put the uh, Z piece on the left. And Tugi more on the right hand side in those uh, 7, 8, 9 columns there. Both players will be Tetris ready to start. And just awaiting that long bar. Still awaiting that long bar. There it is. Tetris for both players to start off here. But yeah, for anyone who did not catch season 25 the last time both these players faced off, Tugi was victorious. It was a very chaotic match, both based on the play and the events that preceded it with the stream. Um, it was the first time ever for everything, and that was my first restream. It was great. It's iconic. It birthed the Adam Irish Experience meme as well. So, uh, a legendary game for multiple reasons. Tetris for Tugi and Sidnev. Tugi currently the leader on 114. Sidnev, 93,000. So, a Tetris separating these two, pretty much. And Sidnev's going to get us all back even with that Tetris. But Tugi's going to respond with a Tetris of his own, and so does Sidnev. So, pretty much nothing to separate the two at the moment. 139 for Sidnev, who's just jamming away there. And uh, Tugi on 160 now with that Tetris. Reroll it is. Yeah, I, I just saw. Tetris for Tugi up to 183. Sidnev, 163. She now gets the well open. Sidnev Tetris ready. So is Tugi. Tetris for Tugi. I'm going to adjust the cam. Whoop. I did not mean to adjust that. Uh, I'll adjust the cam ever so slightly so you can see Tugi a little bit better. There we go. Sidnev looking for a... Well, gets the spin with the SPs. Could have also gotten with a J Tuck as well, but also gets the bits done there as well, but does create a hole in the stack, but should be easy to burn away, and that's exactly what Sidnev's going to do. Creates another hole, but it's fine. Tetris for Sidnev. Tugi still leading by one Tetris on 255. Sidnev 235. And another Tetris for Tugi there. Now with just under a two Tetris lead, Tugi gets the long bar over to the very left there. Now setting up uh, can get either a Z piece or a T piece, gets the tuck with the T, and puts in two perfectly timed squares there. Tetris for Tugi and Tetris for Sidnev. And don't forget, if you want to contribute to the prize pool for Season 26, you can do so. Uh, there is a Maturino prize pool that you'd be able to uh, donate to using the command exclamation mark Maturino. Every $100 accumulated means we get one game where I go with an over-exaggerated Irish accent. Thank you, Ian, for doing it for our lovely viewers uh, in terms of the command. But yeah, great way to support the players um, for their dedicated hard work in stacking blocks on a professional level. And also because the, the last two times I've done this, you guys were crazy enough to actually donate ungodly amounts of money to it so that I do an accent. Oh, Sidnev didn't rotate the, uh, ops not to rotate the L piece there fully, but it does work out. Very nice adjustment there to get Tetris ready, and Tetris for Sidnev now takes the lead on 424, Tugi 422, so we're pretty much even here, folks. Sidnev Tetris ready, long bar there. Tetris for Sidnev to go up to 447. There's been pretty much nothing to separate these two players in the first 100 lines. I think the highest the lead got was like two Tetrises, which just shows caliber of these players. They both have dealt very well with this board so far. Sidnev having to do a little bit of digging here, but she should be okay. And that double is going to open the well. Let's see if wants the board to just be fully clean. And that long bar will get the board fully clean. And there's another long bar, Tetris for Sidnev up to 478. Tugi still in the lead here, 520. So 
was up, up to close to a two Tetris lead here and is back to it. Uh, Tetris is from both players there. Yeah, that was a pretty nasty adjustment indeed. I, I do agree, Tyler. Oh, and a bit of lag from uh, Tugi's NTC there, but we're okay. Tetris for Sidnev up to 524. Tugi with another Tetris to go to 565. And another Tetris for Sidnev and another Tetris for Tugi. It's back and forth Tetrises here. Another Tetris for Sidnev, who set up a T-spin here. Ops 2 tucked the long bar in as the T was not arriving there. And ooh, this uh, board is looking a little bit funky, but nothing Sidnev can't handle. Tugi also a little bit of clutter, but gets it cleaned up. And now this board isn't looking the best as Sidnev transitions on 595 to level 19 here. Tugi is on 615. Great transition scores from both players here. Tetris for Tugi to go up to 640 and can potentially take advantage of uh, Sidnev um, having to do a bit of cleanup here to potentially get uh, some space between himself and Sidnev. Tugi had a long bar dependency, didn't have the long bar in time to fill it in. Is currently on 670, Sidnev 614, so just over two Tetris lead here for Tugi as well. Players are now on level 20. Tugi gets a well open in column three, uses it to get the board cleaned up and has the well transitioned back over to the right side. Tugi is Tetris ready. Sidnev has a clean board now and all is also Tetris ready. Both players waiting for that long bar, currently in a little bit of a drought. 25, 24 pieces there uh, before Sidnev got that long bar, had to use it to clean up. And Tetris for Sidnev there finally, and Tetris for Tugi as well. 712 for Tugi, now 740, 650 for Sidnev, now 678. Hello, Cobra. Good to see you. Or, uh, Hen Henlore Cobra. Good to see you. 769 for Tugi. 708 for Sinev, who set up the bits here. Waiting for that long bar to get it done. Desperately looking for that long bar. The Vitz is crying out, it's it's screaming like, please, I need to be completed. There's the Vitz from Sidnev. That sets up a Tetris, waiting for the long bar to get that done. Long bar not quite arriving. There it is. Tetris for Sidnev. Up to 7.58. Tugi is on 8.35. Two and a half Tetris lead. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Tetris for Tugi. Up to 8.66 now. Sidnev 7.89. Level 25 for both players now. And Sidnev now setting up a dirty Tetris in column eight. Gets the dirty Tetris done. And another Tetris. Almost back to back there for Sidnev. Now it's just a half Tetris lead here. And Sidnev now takes the lead. That's how quick things can change on this speed, ladies and gentlemen. Sidnev now has the lead as Tugi now having to do a little bit of cleanup here. Looking to try to get something opened up on the left hand side. Tugi still working at it. Now can get something over there. Sidnev now on 925. Now 959. Tugi 885. Still digging through here, but now getting that well back opened. Is Tetris ready? Waiting for that long bar here. Sidnev's on 960. Tetris for Tugi up to 926. Just un just over a Tetris lead here. Sidnev is Tetris ready now. Tetris for Tugi. Now it's 959 to 963. Tetris for Sidnev. 999, 121. And that Tetris will get the max out for Sidnev on level 28. Level 29 arriving here. Two more line clears or a Tetris will get her to level 29. Tugi, meanwhile is on 995. Sidnev goes to level 29 on a million and 72. Tugi's on 996. Max out is around the corner and it'll be a max out transition for Tugi in the 29. A million 33. So Sidnev with a slight advantage going into kill screen here, but a line deficit of six to work with here. Although it's not much, it's something considering how Agonizingly close it is between both of these players. It could be something that could shift the scale, but we will see. Sidnev is setting up for a Tetris on column nine, waiting for that long bar to arrive. There it is, Tetris for Sidnev, 1.13. Tugi is on 1.14, it's back and forth, lead changing here. Level 31, Sidnev with a Tetris to go to 1.17. Less than a Tetris between these two. Any Tetris is gonna just switch the lead back and forth here. Tugi takes a triple, 20,000 points separates them, 1.16 to 1.18, level 32 now. And Tugi is setting up for Tetris, and there's the Tetris for Tugi! Both players on 1.2 now! Level 33! 
Tugi is has the lead by just 11,000 points as Sinev is Tetris ready in column nine and doesn't quite get it, has had to burn before that, played it safe, but is still alive. Now is ready for another Tetris. Sidnev is Tetris ready. Tugi is building for a Tetris. Tetris for Sidnev. 1.264. There is just only a few hundred points between these two. Oh my goodness. Now 3,000. And Sidnev is Tetris ready again. Waiting for that long bar in Tetris for Sidnev. 1.315. Tugi, 1.27. This is one hell of a game one, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. And Tugi is Tetris ready. Tetris for Tugi. And another Tetris for Sidnev. 1.4 has been reached. Level 36. 39 uh, super kill screen is coming soon. Sidnev is now gets a dirty Tetris on row 3. Level 37 now. Now about a just on uh, about a one and a half tetris lead here on level 37 for setup and another tetris says tugi couldn't get the uh, square piece all the way over to the left so tugi will have some work to do here as sidnev is trying to put this to bed in game for game one. Oh, but hang it out still gets a tetris over 1.6 for sidnev oh my goodness as tugi tops out at 1.4 sidnev hits 39 and will take game number one and if that is a way to open the game, open the match, then I'm looking forward to this one. Three, two, one, Tetris. Yes, we are, Sidna, owing by the fact that you are currently playing the game of Tetris. I just had to shout out this league. But players start off game two with a Tetris. And another one. That's a simul Tetris there for both players here. Another Tetris for Sidneva's Tugi's gonna take the first burns of game two here. And some nice burns to open back up the well. Another Tetris for Sidnev here. Currently leading on 91,000, Tugi 73 at this early stage. Sidnev is currently perfect in five. Another Tetris for Sidnev to go up to 114 and a point. Which, of course, at this point is pretty much a signature move for her to do at this, at this point. Sidnev takes her first burns of the game here. And a bit of a spire going on here for Tugi, but building well around him. Meanwhile, Sidnev having to do a little bit of cleanup here. Gets a nice double. And gets a nice a couple of singles there to make everything more organized. And the long bar coming just in time. Tetris for Sidnev. But Tugi has taken advantage of that now, has taken the lead on 170, 148 for Sidnev. So Almost exactly a Tetris lead here. You'd be more worried if it was a simul Tetris for just one player. Shush! I'm trying to, like, fill up time or words. I mean, I, I mean, may, maybe if you play, like, if someone plays two games at once, like, if they have, like, two setups and, like, they're on level zero or something, like, they can get a simul Tetris on, like, two consoles or something. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. But, uh, I imagine it wouldn't be very fun. It would probably be actually quite stressful. Unless you're on, like, level zero, then I suppose it would be kind of easy. 262 for Tugi, 243 for Sidnev, who gets another Tetris there to take the lead, 266. Tugi is setting up for the Tetris here. Is Tetris ready with that placement of the L? Tetris for Tugi. Into 285 now. Words are hard. I agree. Words are very difficult. English, even as like a native speaker, English sometimes boggles the mind. And so I always like, <laughs> something funny, I always use the excuse that English technically isn't my first language if I ever say something dumb. Because it technically isn't. The, the, our, the first national language in Ireland is the language of Irish which I don't know how to speak because I didn't pay attention in school. <laughs> because Irish is, like the way Irish is taught is not that great. 
I'm gonna be honest. Tetris for Tugi. It's like taught in a really antiquated way that's just like you're you're taught it to pass an exam. You're not taught to actually speak and like have conversations in the language. Tugi on 380, Sidnev 362. Sidnev is Tetris ready, waiting for that long bar to drop down from the sky. Still not arriving. Sidnev will take a double there to keep the stack at a manageable level. Takes another one. Long bar still not arriving. 26 pieces without a long bar, but Sidnev gets the Tetris in the end. Oh, and Tugi with a looks like a misrotation of that L piece there. At this level, sometimes you have to question if moves like that are on purpose or not. Because, like, some players can find those, like, crazy adjustments like that. So, if it gets a nice T-spin there. Is Tetris ready as a result? Tetris for Sidnev up to 460, Tugi 413. But, yeah, as I was saying, like, sometimes when, like, a, a top player misdrops or, like, place a piece really awkwardly. I have to second guess myself. It's like, did they do that on purpose? Is that like some adjustment that I don't see because I'm like 700k brain? Or did they just misdrop? That looked like it was, I, I think it's safe to say that was a, a misdrop, but Tugi has recovered well and is only a Tetris behind Sidnev here. Is that the Irish commentator? No, it's the, um... I don't have a witty remark because uh, Kingsman stole it. It's Adam Isle of Men. But yeah, hi Alex. Good to see the former Tetris boss in the building. How are you doing, man? It has been a minute. Yeah, W Isle of Man indeed, except <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. I'll get to commentate my fellow Manxman. In Sodium Overdose, Sidnev transitions to level 19, 5, that was probably about like 550-ish, uh, now up to 604 with two Tetrises there. Tugi is on 579, also transitions to level 19, has a long bar dependency in column 3, gets that filled in with a long bar. Sidnev Tetris ready, another Tetris down for Sidnev, now about just under a two Tetris lead here on 633, Tugi 588. This both players are now navigating level 19 and beyond. Tuki Tetris ready and gets a Tetris down there to go to 639. Sidnev 687. Another Tetris for Tuki. Now on 665. Sidnev now Tetris ready. Waiting for that long bar. Had a 15 piece strat there, but got the long bar in the end. So Sidnev still holding a 25,000 point lead here. Another Tetris for Sidnev. And Tetris for Tuki here. Sort of sets up the tuck with the square, gets it done. Tetris for Tugi again, so still just about 25-ish thousand points now separating these two. Tugi going to take a couple of singles here to get the well back open. Does get it open. Tetris for Tugi. But Sin of still holding the lead on 806. Another Tetris to go up to 836. Tugi 781. Tetris again for Tugi, up to 810. Sidnev gets the well back open. Long bar arrives. Tetris for Sidnev. And another Tetris for Sidnev to go to level 25. Tugi still level 23, now goes on level 24. A line deficit of 12 that Tugi can work with here. Tetris for Tugi to go to 846. Sidnev now on 900,000, level 25, but a couple awkward uh, square pieces there, but. Gonna get a couple of nice burns here to try to clean up the stack. Tugi can try to take advantage of this. He is Tetris ready and will get a Tetris down. Tetris for Tugi to go to 912. Sidnev 968. Tetris again for Tugi 945, but Sidnev is gonna get the max out there on level 26. Million and one points. Million one thousand rather. Sinev on a million thirty-eight now. Tugi, 981 on level 26. We'll be going to level 27 here with just another line clear. Hoping to get the max out transition into 27. Won't quite get it on 984, but we'll get a max out with that Tetris up to a million seventeen. Sinev still leading on a million and eighty points. And it looks like it could be another duel of the kill screen here. 
Sidnev, ooh, um, opting to take a couple of burns there with that rotation of the JP here. Sidnev is Tetris ready, so is Tugi. And this uh, Tetris there will take Sidnev to kill screen on a million and 29 points. Tugi is also Tetris ready. Hoping to get that Tetris before level 29, and will do so. Million and 30 for Tugi here, as both players now are on level 29 and beyond. Sidnev looking to get Tetris ready here. Is Tetris ready? Waiting for that long bar to arrive. Looking to try to get the well open. Now set up for a dirty Tetris on column 8 briefly there, but decides to close the well. And Sidnev has one waiting, but needs to try to get something over and can't do it. Sidnev tops out at a million two hundred and twenty-one. Tugi in a chase down. Target score, a million two hundred and twenty-two points. Twenty-two thousand points, rather. Tugi can just line this out here. Plenty of runway to do so. But oh, a miss a misplace of that S piece. And this board is starting to spiral and Tugi can't do it. Tops out at 1.16, which means that Sidnev will take game number two. We are at match point here. Four, three, two, one, Tetris. players starting off with a Tetris here. And both players are starting off here. Both have clean boards. And both are Tetris ready. I'm going to get a Simul Tetris down there. Early on, Sidnev with the lead on 91,000. Tugi, 74,000. Nice tucks there from Sidnev as Tugi with a well... Uh, pretty large long bar dependency, but got it filled in. Tugi looking for an L piece to get the well back open. Does get it, and there's the long bar Tetris for Tugi. You're back, you had customers. Welcome back! And, uh, if they're there, hello, Gilded's customers. I know of a purchase that they can make. They can contribute to the match arena. Uh, using the command exclamation mark match arena to uh, contribute to the prize pool for season 26. So at the end of the season, the best players get the best rewards. Tetris 4, Sidnev and Tugi here. Still about a Tetris lead for Sidnev. And another simul Tetris. So both players on pretty much um, identical sequence pace here. It's not the same type of uh, P word, don't worry. Tetris for Sidnev to go up to 261. Tugi's on 241. Thousand. Just so I don't get crucified again. I'm joking. Where am I? Both players pretty much even here at the moment. Sidnev on 285. Tugi 265 is Tetris ready. So is Sidnev. Tetris for Tugi and another Tetris. Tetris for Sidnev as well. Just 2,000 points separating these two. A lot of twos. But with again, with clean stack. Sidnev would like a either an L piece or a J. Gets the J over onto the left side before I could even finish my sentence. And gets the long bar Tetris for Sidnev there, up to 362. Tugi on 340. 
Two's company, says GamerZ. I agree. Two is indeed company. And three's a crab. Although we don't have a, a three-player setup. Or, well, technically I could make one, but we don't need it here. Maybe, maybe for my own streams. Four fifty four for Sidnev, four eleven for Tugi. Now it's a lot of fours. We've gone from a lot of twos to a lot of fours. Next is going to be a lot of eights, and then sixteens and thirty twos and sixty fours. Both players are just slamming down Tetris here. This is some very good play from both players here. Reflected in the Tetris rates, eighty one for Sidnev and seventy three for Tugi. So both players on. Some great scores, and, uh... Oh, what happened to Sidnev? What? She, she's gone. She just disappeared. Just, just... Po oh, she's back. Okay, we're, we're good. We're okay. We're all right. We're decent. We're fine. Okay, we're back. Never mind. We're okay. We're back, and Sidnev has set up a Vitz as a welcome back present. Will she get it? Just waiting for that long bar and a bit of a drought right now. But eventually does get the Vitz done. Is Tetris ready? And Tetris for Sidnev leads on 572. Tugi 553. Yeah, it's just the good old, good old internet. We love it and we also hate it at the same time because it pulls stuff like this. But we're good. And uh, yeah, players will keep on going. As, uh, of course, the internet could always just come back, so... No point in saying anything. Tetris for Tugi here. As Sidnev transitions on 644, Tugi 625. This is great scores from both players here. Another Tetris for Tugi, 651 now. Sidnev 672. Both players are navigating through the levels here on level 20 now. I'm going to drink some water. I just reset and have up to 725. Tugi, meanwhile, with a little bit of cleanup to do. Should be able to manage here. Gets, some, gets a nice split double there and a triple with that long bar. Perfect timing. As Tugi gets the tuck with the T, now is Tetris ready in column 8 and gets the Tetris and has a well transfer over back to the very right side. Sidnev in a similar position now. And a perfect timing of that JP stair for Sidnev. Now is Tetris ready. Tetris for Sidnev up to 814, has the lead here by about a quarter. Tetris and a quarter here. Tetris again for Sidnev up to 843. But Tugi is keeping in and making sure not to let that lead slip any further. Sidnev now on level 24, 875. Tugi now on level 24 as well, 838. Tetris again for Sidnev up to 935. Tugi 838. Tugi also going to respond with the Tetris here. Both players are now building up for another. And Tugi is Tetris ready here. Sidnev takes a... Single burn there to get the well back open. Tetris for Sidnev. Tugi still waiting for that long burn. There it is. Tetris for Tugi. 904 to 967. Two Tetris gap here as Tugi now sets up the Vitz. Waiting for that long bar to complete it. Not going to quite get an oh, uh, misrotation of that long bar there. So we'll have a bit more work to do as Sidnev now gets a max out on level 26 here. Million and 32. Actually, might have been into 26. Tugi's on 9-12 here. It's now a 150,000 point lead for Sidnev. Tugi has some work to do here, but is still hanging on in there. Looking to get that well back open. Does, and the Vitz is still waiting there for him. And he's going to get the Vitz, and that sets up the Tetris, but had to close the well when that long bar came. A long bar to open back up the well. Tugi is Tetris ready as Sidnev is now on level 28. Tetris for Tugi, 969, is Sidnev on a million eighty-seven thousand here. And Sidnev now to 1.1, level 28 here. Tugi, 973, 
Both players are soon to transition to level 29. Tugi with a max out on level 28. Million and 8,000 points here. Tugi couldn't get that first long bar all the way over. Gets that second one over. Now both players hit level 29. Million 196,000 for Sidnev. Million 81,000 for Tugi. So about a 140,000 point lead here. Tugi now set up in column three for a Tetris and gets it done. Tetris for Tugi. Sidnev also Tetris ready. Waiting for that long bar. Where's the long bar? Now trying to set up. Potentially for Dirty on his Dirty center well here, but can't get it done. Sidnev in a bit of trouble now, and Sidnev is going to top out at 1,280,000. Tugi in another chase down here. Target score, 1,281,000. Yes, Sidnev, he's still alive. Tugi looking to try to get this to stay alive in the match here. Needs about 115,000 points as Tugi's looking to get column six back open. Still fighting to do so, has column six open now. Looking to try to get this clean, can, can obviously line out from here. But Tugi is still fighting, now needs need something on the left side, gets that J over and gets another J piece over. Tugi is now 85,000 points away. Won't need a Tetris. But Tugi looks like he might be going for it. Tugi is going for it. Where's the long bar? Needs that long bar. Gets the Tetris. Now just half a Tetris away. 25,000 to go. A million. 255. 1,281,000 is the goal. Oh, but Tugi Sports on a climb. Needs the long bar. Where's the long bar? Still has the well open. Close it again. Can't get it back open. Still trying to fight here. Tugi's still alive. 10,000 points away. Level 37. And there it is. Tugi on level 37 just gets it done. Tugi will take game number three. We still have a match, ladies and gentlemen. What a chase down from Tugi. Best of luck to both players. We're going to get ready to go here in five, four, Three, two, one, Tetris. If he wins, I get half the prize money, right? Well, I'm not Mr. CTWC, but that sounds like a pretty good idea b b that uh, you'd get royalties for calling it. Sounds fair to me, but uh, I I'm just Adam Irish, so I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm Mr. Came 48th place in CTWC Das, so. Yeah. And I would talk more about CTWC DAS, but I I've talked about it so much on my stream that uh, I'm kind of beating a dead horse. But uh, I had fun. It was great. I loved it. I'm going next year again, and this time I, I, I will try to be slightly less bad next year. Anyway, both players are underway and uh, already starting off with quite the drought here. We're getting into the 30s here. Sinev's in trouble. Looking to try to get that uh, column 8 back open. Both players are not... Having the best of times, but Sinev manages to recover and gets the long bar. I should have known. I should have known that it's Sidnev I'm talking about. Like, that's just a normal, like, everyday stack. I forgot. My apologies. Both players recover. And uh, Sidnev leads on 127, Tugi 68,000. Yes, it was my first IRL tournament, C2WC DAS. So I was incredibly nervous. <laughs> like, incre more nervous than I let on stream. Like, I tried to, like, uh, just, like, be my normal, um... Just, like, goofy self, but I was so nervous. But it was great, I loved it. I now, I now have the, like, the, uh, addiction to doing IRL stuff now. Like, I want to do more. Oh, Sidnev. Back up here again. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything because, yeah, she, she's dealing with it just fine. But Tugi now takes advantage of that and has the lead on 182. Sidnev 161. So about a Tetris lead. Yeah, I have a 700 KPB. You probably couldn't tell based on how I played, but, uh, yeah. Tetris for Sidnev here up to 188. Oh, what happened? 
Oh, Sydney just paused. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're all good. But yeah, I've, uh, well, my PB was about 620 when I went, but I, I got that PB the other day. You didn't see me play so I'd, because you had so many matches yourself. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it, it was over as quickly as it started. Um, first game was uh, like a 10k top out. Second game was like 60k. Third game was also uh, like a 20, 20k. Hey, at least at least I didn't top out as fast as Forrest did, though. Which is my, uh, all I can really say. Tetris for Tugi here. Sorry for the lack of Tetris calls. Tetris for Sidnev here. Both players are pretty much even. 327 for Tugi, 302 for Sidnev. I'm Mr. Against All Odds. Managed to qualify for C2WC. I guess. I guess you could look at it that way. I, I, I'm not sure how it necessarily is. I'd like to hear you explain how it's against all odds. I guess I suppose it's because, um, well, actually I'll just see the nice uh, Z spin there for Sidnev. Both players are Tetris ready. A couple nice adjustments here. Tugi looking to get the well back open. Both players playing quite high here, but should be okay. Sidnev is looking to get some good pieces here. Gets a long bar into column five, and now looking for another long bar. Set up for a very dirty Tetris here, but um, opts to just take the burn instead. Plays it safe. That long bar was not arriving, so correct call there for Sidnev to not go for one of the most foul Tetrises I think we would have all ever seen. There's the long bar. Tetris for Sidnev up to 396. Tugi 411. But yeah, in terms of qualifying for CTWC DAS, CTWC DAS was my, my first time using an NES controller, my first time playing on an NES, my first time using a CRT. It was the first time that I wasn't playing on like a PC emulator. And I still qualified, which I, I'm happy with myself I managed to do that. Considering there was players that I beat that, like, play exclusively on console. Sidnev is the first to go to level 19 here on 488. Tugi will go on 527 here, as now both players are looking to get some more points on the board. For video games, it's my first time using a CRT at all. For, like, playing a game. Like, I obviously had a CRT back when I was, like, a toddler watching, like, I don't know, Winnie the Pooh or something. Tetris for Sidnev up to 542 and gets the Vitz as well. And another Tetris set up after that. 567. Tugi responding with a Tetris of his own on 604. Both players now on level 20. But yeah, first time using it for NES Tetris. And considering I play an emulator and I'm like so used to the delay, the delay that uh emulator gives, it was like like learning the game again pretty much. So thank god I did some warm-up. Tetris for Sidnev has a half Tetris lead on 674. Tugi 660 now is Tetris ready. Both players are waiting for that long bar now. And Tetris for Sidnev here. Tugi also getting a long bar here. 692 to 702. Tetris for Sidnev now up to 733, 722 for Tugi. Both players with a clean board right now. Just Slamming down Tetris after Tetris, not letting the other out of their sights here. NTC does that sometimes, Tony. Dirty Tetris for Sidnev, as she now goes to 793 and another Tetris to go to 823. Tugi is also on level 24 here. Just 9,000 points, now 12,000 points, separating these two. Less than half a Tetris here. Sidnev is now ready in column nine, row two, and gets the Tetris there. And now Tugi takes the lead by half a Tetris, but Sidnev's gonna take it right back here. Level 26 for Sidnev. Tugi still on 25. Is Tetris ready? Tetris for Sidnev to go to 925. 
And Tetris again for Tugi here. 6,000 points separating these two as they're just going back and forth with the Tetrises here. Tugi has to cover the well and nowhere else better to put that S piece. But getting the well back open, Tugi Tetris ready. And Tetris for Tugi here. Both players are now on level 27. And with that Tetris sitting, we'll get a max out. Million and 25,000 to Tetris lead. But Tugi is going to bring that down to one with a Tetris 992. 30,000 point lead. Sidnev now goes to level 28, the final level before level 29, because that's how numbers work. Sidnev on a million ninety-seven thousand. Tugi 998, now on level 28 here. Dirty Tetris ready, and there it is. Tetris 4, Tugi max on a level 28 as Sidnev goes to level 29. 1 million 138,000 points. Tugi also hitting level 29, million and 43,000. Sidnev, Tetris ready now, waiting for that long bar to arrive. Tugi, meanwhile, getting some singles there. Sidnev still waiting for that long bar. 21 pieces. There it is. Tetris for Sidnev, 1,196,000 for Sidnev, 1,128,000 for Tugi. Both players now on level 31 as Tugi is trying to stay as low as possible. Sidnev couldn't get the long bar all the way over to the right here. But now we'll have to. Sets up a dirty Tetris and gets it all the way over onto the left. A dirty left well Tetris for Sidnev. Up to a million two fifty two thousand. Tugi is a Tetris and a half behind on a million one ninety three. Incredible plays here from Sidnev. Looking to try to keep this board low. Tugi now looking for something but can't get the long bar over. And Tugi is going to top out on a million one hundred ninety nine thousand. And Sidnev, 1,281,000 will take game number four. And that is the set for Sidnev. An unbelievable four games from both of these players. Take a bow. It's always fireworks when these two play. And it delivered once again. And Sidnev gets revenge for season 25. Not only on Tugi, but on me because I was the restreamer for the last game. Current Lone 2024 Lone Star Champion just won that a few weeks ago. Current 2024 CT12 Champion, bet you forgot about that one, but that's the title he has. Currently only person in CTL Div 1 to not drop a single game. So he is three sets into the season. Nine games, no, sorry, nine wins, no losses in terms of his games. He's Blue Scooty. He's currently up by about a Tetris, if the score is to be believed. 334 for him. Lombard Tetris for Cold Bucket, 330. So very close game. Again, see, like, he got a Tetris and his score just went down. So there's something good wonky going on, but I have not figured out what it is. So both players be appraised of that. There is, like, I, I did not fully see what it was. So I'm going to keep the game running right now. So 404 Lombar, 427. But there's definitely something weird going on with the score. See, 428, he got a long Tetris, got 401. Okay. I think the 8's being confused with a 0. No. It's 473 now. So that would mean... What's 473? What's 73 minus 22? 50. That's even like the is five is being confused. This, this doesn't make any sense. I think this is the I think this is the accurate score. Cole is up by about now it says 19. Okay, I have no idea what the score is. Um, keep playing for right now. If either player wants to top out, I would be okay with that. I think right now I'm just going to be. Just letting it kind of go for a second, make sure 
see if we can kind of draw out a pattern here so that I know what the score is. We're still 18, so I think it's still okay. The cold like this score now 8,000 points. All right, blue squeeze at 513. I'm pretty sure that's the right score. So Cole transitions into 19 with 10,000 points. That's not right at all. Yeah, I'm. Let's see if it gets, this gets any better. It's up to 40 now. Yeah, there's something wrong with the fives. It's, it's confusing fives and zeros, which I've never seen before. Long bar that goes up to 72, and it's going to go up to 6,000, I think. Anyway, this is like. Sorry, this is affecting my ability to commentate the game. Long bar Tetris, though. 701. Okay, no. It's confusing sixes and zeros. There we go. That makes way more sense because sixes look more like zeros than fives do. 556 for Scooty. Lombard Tetris goes up to 682. So Cole is up to 728. So remember, his NTSC is. Sorry, his NTC and NTSC is confusing sixes and zeros. So keep that in mind. Dirty Tetris goes up to 760 or 766. Some combinations of sevens and sixties. Now it's up to 784. Okay, 636 for Scooty Lombard Tetris. Looking pretty clean right now. Cole gets clean, goes up to 780. Yeah. I have no idea what the banning thing was. It clearly didn't go on at the CT, um, sorry, CTL channel, and this is a CTL event, so. 827 for Cole. It does have the lead. 722 for Cole's Blue Scooty, but Cole's board falling apart pretty quickly. We'll need to... Yeah, so this is creeping up pretty rapidly. Gets some pieces over to the left. He's up pretty high. Can't get anything over. He's going to be done. Cole tops out at 830. Blue Scooty, you were in a chase down. You need 831 in order to take it. 831. Currently at 738. So he needs a couple Tetrises. But... We'll need to survive the drought that killed Cole. That wasn't too long of one. There we go. Longmark Tetris goes up to 825. Just need a few more lines. Cole's oh, got a magic score. Yeah. Alrighty. Longmark Tetris, that means Cole. Sorry, Blue Scooty will take game number one. GG's. Cole, if you want to take a little bit of time to recalibrate, I would be grateful. Just to kind of make sure the sixes and zeros aren't being confused because it definitely threw me off a bit. One. Tetris. Hey, okay, Bar Bar. Hazel's not ready. Okay, uh. I'm sorry. I didn't check if Hazel was ready yet. Um, sorry. <laughs> Alright, they're off. They're stacking. Remember Tetris? So far, so good. We'll see what happens when we get to a six. Okay, so like, okay, never mind. This is good. We got a nice bits from Scooty. We have permission to continue. Looks, this looks okay. We got a six on the board. We didn't see any sixes last game, so. I think we have it under control. Oh, Scooty hangs the T. Needs something over to the left side. Oh no, he hits the bar! And that's gonna be it! Scooty early top out, 48,000 points! Cole's gonna tie it up! He is pumped! GG's. <laughs> In three, two, one, Tetris. Hazel, thank you for the bit. Also, Yel Yelpo Live, thank you for the bit. Frito Fry, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I was distracted by the. NTSC issues in game one, but they look like they are behind us now. Both players are off. They're stacking. They're waiting on a bar, and there it is for Cole. There it is for Scooty. We got the bar at about the same time. Fancy that. Both of the Tetris on the board. Cole opting to resolve his dependency before getting the Tetris, but we'll get the next one. Taking a few burns. That's fine. Kafka says, why do I feel like Scooty is always in a different house every time he streams? Yeah, he's, uh, 
At least a different room. Bent squirrely joining the bit club. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got players getting some Tetrises in rapid succession. Nice flat burn for Scooty. Take that, Rory. Um, 140 for Goldbug at 138 for Scooty. Tight game here. Early on, 30 lanes in. You know what? I'll join the big club. How's this sound? I think the money is going back to me anyway, but <laughs> there we go. Bit club, part of it. Nice. All right. <laughs> Scooty half a Tetris lead. Close one here so far. Scooty's grandpa is saying he's at our house in Kansas. Nice. All right. So Scooty is out visiting the fam, bringing his Tetris setup with him. You have a very pretty grandfather clock. I will say that. In my singular bit club. <laughs> Yeah. You have a very nice living room. Um, go players, just keep on keeping on. It's cool with a slight lead here, but Scooty with six lines in pocket. Nice Vitz, nice Lombard, nice Tetris. Goes up to 277. Calls that 